friends, it's Mrs. Foster, and today I am here to read you a book called The Napping House. It's raining here today, and it feels like a good day for a nap, so I felt like this was a good choice. Here we go. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed, and a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child, on a snoring granny in a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that child, there is a dog, a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Look at that dog. And on that dog, there is a cat, a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Too cute. And on that cat there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse, on a, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. To really look for that little mouse, he's right there. And on that mast, there is a flea. Can it be a wakeful flea on a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dock, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping? This teeny tiny little flea up there, you can barely see it. A wakeful flea who bites the mouse. See the mouse way up here jumping? Ouch! Who scares the cat? Who claws the dog? Ouch! Who thumps the child? Who bumps the granny? Who breaks the bed? in a napping house where no one now is sleeping. Look, it looks like the rain stopped and a rainbow came out and nap time is over. All right, the end. Thanks for coming today. I think I'm gonna go take a nap now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.